another video of our automobile, a general of YouTube one which we discuss about each and every parts of an automobile. So guys, today we are going to discuss about the fact that how we can get more power from an engine. Guys, there are several techniques uh, from that we can get the more power, but today we are going to discuss one of them. So guys, uh, let's think about that. Uh, if we enter the more amount of the fuel inside an engine cylinder, so maybe we can get more power. But if we enter the huge amount of the fuel that can burn because absence of air. So guys, for that we have to introduce the huge amount of the air inside an engine too. So that the perfect air fuel mixture can burn inside an engine cylinder and we can get the more power. So guys, for that we use force induction. Now for the force induction, we are using some kind of devices. Guys, we have already discussed about the turbocharger. So today we are going to discuss another device for the force induction and that is supercharger. And guys, the supercharger introduced before the turbocharger. It is a mechanical device which runs with the help of engine power. So guys, let's learn about superchargers. Root supercharger. Guys, supercharger is a mechanical device which is used for forced induction of air inside an engine cylinder so that perfect combustion can be possible. Guys, supercharger and the turbocharger are similar. Uh, we have already discussed about the turbochargers. Uh, links are present in below description. You can go through that and learn about that. So guys, uh, both are similar, but the only difference in between them is of mechanisms. And also supercharger is introduced before the turbocharger. But due to some reasons, we can't put the supercharger in all the vehicles. So guys, uh, there are some kind of superchargers and today we are going to discuss about the root supercharger or root blower. Guys, uh, root blower because here we are not going to compress the air that's why it is also called as a root blower and now we are going to learn about the position or the situation of root supercharger. So guys, you can learn about that by the working of supercharger. The working of supercharger means forced induction inside an engine cylinder. So it must be situated nearby the engine. So guys, root supercharger is situated above the engine means it directly can suck the air from atmosphere and send to the engine. But in between them means root supercharger and engine are intercooler is present so that we can cool down the atmospheric air's temperature. So guys, as we all know, the high temperature gas tends to the large space means if the temperature of the gas is more then the molecule of the gas will be spreaded so it will take the huge amount of the space because basically the entropy will be high so randomness will be high uh, so it will take the huge amount of the space but if we reduce the temperature of that atmospheric air means low temperature gas will tend to the less space so if the temperature will be decreases of that atmospheric gas so molecules will be come near by each other so that uh, it will take the less amount of the space means we can send the huge amount of the air inside an engine cylinder so guys for reducing the temperature of the atmospheric gas here we are using the intercooler and for reducing the temperature continuous water flowing is present in the intercooler and guys, this root blower works with the help of the engine. Means if we start the engine, uh, the root supercharger also starts. Because uh, with the help of engine crankshaft, the root supercharger is coupled. Or it is connected with the help of this belt pulley or gear train or any other kind of the gears. So guys, this is basically the situation position or the working of root supercharger. But what's inside the root supercharger? For that, please have a look in here. So guys, this is the uh, basic mechanism of the root supercharger, which is also called as a positive displacement low pump. Positive displacement. Guys, positive displacement means 
uh, it can uh, transfer the required amount of the air as per the space available means it suck the particular amount of the air or the liquid and send that particular amount of the air to the other side that is called the positive displacement and here we are using the positive displacement low pump and guys low also comes in two types twisted type and the straight so guys here it is two lobes or wings so what happened is when we start engine uh, with the help of this belt pulley root supercharger also starts spinning and with the help of these gears uh, it starts spinning and uh, it sucks the uh, amount of the air from the atmosphere which comes in this chamber or you can say the pocket and this loops start spinning and after that the air also starts moving from in this chamber to here then inside an engine cylinder means intercooler same way in here uh, because of this rotation air comes in this pocket then go through this line and then inside an engine cylinder so this happened inside an uh, root supercharger we can send the particular amount or the required amount of the air inside an engine cylinder and we can get the higher power so guys basically the advantage of the root supercharger is we can get the more power but it has some disadvantage too like higher weight uh, root supercharger possesses high weight uh, so we can put it only in the muscle cars and uh, which can be a, the huge amount of the weight and guys uh, another another disadvantage is driven by the engine means it will take the power of engine means it is a power consuming unit but also a power giver so thanks for watching guys and today's video if you like this video please give us a big fat thumbs up share this video with your friends subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can never miss a single video of our channel thank you so much